Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrappin' Saturday, week two. Um, this week is bookmarks and envelopes. So I've been just sitting here playing a little bit. I took um, two 12 by 12 pages and cut them down so that I had a six by six from each. That leaves me with a 6 by 12 for later and a 6 by 6 for later. And then I cut 3 and 2 and that left me with a 1. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. They went everywhere. And I've, I've just been playing and I saw Shell, I think, do this, Shell Radcliffe one time, where she glued some book page to the, um, down to the cardstock and then um, kind of peeled it up before it was completely dry and it kind of came off but left some really cool uh, texture there. So for my first bookmark, that's what I wanted to do. And then I'm gonna take one of these um, taller vellum stickers, I think, and use on there. I don't know why I bothered putting these away. Let's see. Um, what have I got? I need something longer. What I need is some die cuts, and I don't have any die cuts, and I don't have access to my die cut machine at the moment. So, um, maybe I'll look in the Tim Holtz one here and see what I've got. Um, this has pretty much everything in it. This is the Ideology Keepsakes. Oh, I know. I think... I've got the flower one. This one's called Botanical. And I might be able to find something tall in here. So let's look. These are so pretty. And I don't want it to, you know, to overwhelm. I want you still to be able to see behind. But um, there, there's some, some fun stuff in here. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I mean, normally you'd use it across the top, but still. There's some... That goes nicely with that. Pop that that out, and then maybe I'll put. I don't know. See, I'm thinking I might have to ink some of these just to give some definition um, behind some of these things. But I didn't want to really spend the time. That's too big. Um, but maybe just to give that a little pop. Of definition just around the edges so that um, it doesn't just get lost in that background but this per this is perfect for the colors that we're using here so um, I don't want to use my glue stick for that part I used the glue stick what I did and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you uh, we'll make another one uh, but today I'm just making some bookmarks and I don't think I'm going to glue everything into the book right away um, because a lot of these things need to be in pockets or on other things. So I think what I'll probably do is just stick them inside the book with paper clip for now and until we get some places to put them. And um, yeah, so oh look, that's going to look so cool. Look at that. All right, and then maybe we need some kind of a little um, label here, like maybe right, right there. Labels are always fun. Maybe I'll go ahead and ink around this. Like I said, I don't want to ink everything. Um, I, I will be decorating these, you know, maybe later uh, in more detail. But basically, I just want the structure because I want to say, oh, yeah, I need to make some bookmarks or, or I want to make this or whatever. I don't uh, necessarily need to do it the same way every time. All right. I'm going to stick that right up against the edge there like that and then we need to get some some ribbon and I've got this really cool um, green thing in my scrap bin over here I have a big basket of you know all kinds of 
scrap ribbon. So I think this will be perfect for the top. Let's do about that much. And I'll keep that over here so I remember to use it. And then I'm just going to staple the, the top on this one and call it done. Now we could round the corners on this. But in fact, I think I will. I'm going to round the corners because I think that'll be cool. Um, but I may not round the corners on all of them. Sometimes uh, rounding the corners does help it get in and out of the pockets. But there we go. Oh yeah, makes makes a big difference there. Okay, so let's let's get that in there, and I'm going to leave the scraggly side on the front. Let's see if I can get that right up there where it needs to be. There we go. Perfect. So there's one bookmark. Okay. So like I said, the way I did that was I, and I, all I've got is some scraps here now, so I don't have any more of this um, paper, but I can still use it. I put the, um, oh my gosh, where did that bug come from? Yuck. And where did it go? He'll be back. Probably came out of one of those old books. Um, anyway, you put the glue stick down. And I let it dry a little bit. And then I just started sticking the paper on like that. necessarily want that but I like that okay and then I used my bone folder and I um, kind of burnished that down really well until I knew that glue I mean it dries really quick so um, then I just start to peel back and some of it comes away and some of it doesn't. And wherever it's lifting, I'll go ahead and kind of tear it away. And I'm pretty sure I, it was uh, Shell Radcliffe I saw do this and I thought it was really cool. I had seen it on, on um, Pinterest but didn't really pay attention to what they were actually doing. So there again, I've got these pieces lifting here, so I'm just, and it'll it'll keep some of, of it with the words, but tear some of the page will separate. The longer you leave it, of course, the more, um, the more that's gonna stick. Um, but this part that had the glue on it, it's still kinda tacky, so. Um, any part that's lifting, Pull from there just carefully and if it comes off fine if it doesn't come off that's fine too because I, I want some of it to remain but it's basically a way that you can add texture like so all right and then now it's kind of uh, bumpy so I'm just kind of scraping off some of that, and if some of it comes off, that's okay. You see that piece came off. But this stayed. There we go. And after it's a little uh, drier, then I'll go ahead and peel off a little bit more of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on this one as well because it's the same size as the other one. And I liked how that turned out. So let's do the same, um, the same piece of, of this. There we go. Get under there. And I don't really 
worry about if that is perfectly centered or straight or anything like that. I just stick it on and go. All right, so what do we want to put on this one? Let's do, um, we could use these one inch strips um, as an accent piece if we wanted, but I think I want to put another one of these um, little die cut pieces on. Let's see what I've got. Let's see if I have something else in the peach family that works. This one will work nicely. The glue back on the glue stick. Sometimes the pink and the peaches can overlap. So, yeah, that works fine. So let's see if I put that there. And I dumped out that whole bag. Probably not the best idea. Um, and I've got all this other Tim Holtz ephemera too. And you know, I've had these for a while. I don't know how long, but I've never even used it. So might as well take it out and make some use of it. I kind of like these stamps here. I like that color. We'll make that underneath. Little pop. And I don't think we necessarily need a label on that one. So I think that's how I want to do it. Put a little bit of um, see this one little area. And you can take like a little um, piece of, what do you call this, nail file, and get off the pieces that that you don't want, you know. That's going to be under the flower, so I'm not worried about that. Alright, so let's ink this up a little bit, just so it stands out. And I forgot to put the lid on the glue, so I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Um where I have this little open space right here is where I'm going to add those stamps. There we go. Probably could have used the glue stick for this. So I'm going to put those right there, right in the center. And put this on top. There again, you can add more or less as you like. I like that. That looks nice. And there's enough going on that it's interesting. It's not just a piece of scrapbook paper um, behind there. So there we go. All right, so we've got two bookmarks. And... Um, I was thinking on these larger ones, now that I have all this stuff in my way over here, um, that I might, oh, this is that same piece of paper, okay. Um, I don't necessarily want to do the same thing over here, though. So I think what I want to do here is kind of break up the monotony there. So maybe I'll go here. And and just glue that down. There again, if you draw straight lines uh, and put this on there, that would rip in straight lines, which would be cool too. Let's see, I think I'm going to go here. I want that to be over, so I'm not getting as much of that. Um, border there, margin. Oops. Well, you can see how delicate that paper is because the wet glue tore a hole there, but that's okay. More texture. In fact, I will just maybe do some of that. Okay, now I'm going to trim from the back side. I'm going to use my bigger scissors. Get this done quicker. Um, there we go. And I 
like so. Now these would be easily interchangeable uh, into uh, tags or something. Now I've got all my vellum down here in the bottom. I don't want that. I have a big mess to clean up, guys. All right, where's that one that I had that was quite large that didn't fit on the other one that I liked? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I think I might like that. Let's do that. If you can get the right place and bend it down. I need to get out my tweezers because I think that tweezers would make lighter work. I think I'm just going to stick that right there. The colors are right. There we go. Okay, and then on this one, um, I think I will go ahead and I'm going to use my decorative punch. So let me get that. So, I mean, it could be a bookmark or a tag. Pretty much they're interchangeable. Um, so I'm just going to stick that in there. And this one in here. I'm only going to use, do the top um, two corners. And I got a little over. Okay. Just like that. And I think that looks cool. The way it is. Okay, so let's um, let's do the same thing with this one. Um, only I probably won't want to use the same book because I don't have it. Let's use the music. I think I have music in here somewhere. Yeah. So what I might do is I'm going to tear off this margin so it doesn't get included in there. And then I already did right to left, so or left to right, so let's do right to left. Let's do Okay. We can glue that on. Okay, I'm going to use my glue stick for this. This works really good for col oops for collaging. Okay. And I'm going to come up a little bit so I have a little bit of that floral paper showing on the bottom. And this is not as thin as that other index page, so I can rub that down and trim that off. Oops. Okay. Get all that oh, big mess over here. And let's do the corners again. If I, oh, something's not right. It's not wanting to go in. Let's do this one first. Did I cut it that crooked? There must be something in there in the way. Maybe I should use a different corner punch. Um, there we go. And sometimes it just gets hung up on something. There we go. All right. So once again, we have this. And I'd like to use one of these die cuts this time. So I think I want to use this rose because look at the colors in there and I think that'll be nice and I'm not going to worry about inking it because it's got enough contrast. OK, 
Okay, just like that. That looks nice. And I have one larger label here that I think I'll use for this one. like here. Here we go. So that looks nice. So now I've got uh, these two tag slash bookmarks and I've got these two bookmarks and then I have those one inch pieces. What do I want to do with those one inch pieces? Well I think what I want to do with the one inch pieces is fold them in half. This is going to be very very simple. And I'm going to take some of this um, fuzzy stuff. Now, um, if it's a bookmark, you're going to be seeing both sides. Now, the other two are going to be white on the back. You could put lined paper, come on glue, um, or whatever, but this will just be double-sided. I'm just folding it in half and gluing it together. This will be for a smaller pocket, of course. Or, I mean, a bookmark is to keep your place in the book, but it can also be used in place of a tag, just as a different shape. As a reminder, I'm following Corey Dahman's um, Scrap Buster series on her channel, and that's what I'm doing for my Scrap and Saturday. And I think on this one, I want to, uh, all the information will be in the description box if you want to see. I will leave a, a link to Corey's playlist. All right, so this one I want to, um, well, hmm. I think I changed my mind. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to actually tie a ribbon in these. And I'm going to tie a ribbon at the top where I glued them together. So I'm just going to punch a hole in both of these. I am going to do a smaller corner chomp on these. I'm going to do the quarter inch side. Um, I think it'll work better for these. And I'm just going to chomp all four corners. And I'm going to add some seam binding. So let's see, this is six inches and six inches. We always have that joke in our house of Elf where she's cutting the ribbon and he's like, six inches. And she says, you can't do a bow with six inches. And I always use six inches when I'm making my little uh, tag toppers, but I will admit, and I have glue all over, I will admit that it is hard to tie a bow with six inches, so I can back her on that one. Just going to stick that in there, do a little lark's head knot, and call this one done. You could put uh, a little word or saying or something on there if you wanted. Um, but I'm not going to do it at this time. Um, I don't know that I have any small stickers or small embellishments here that would fit on here. Um, but I think words would be really nice. Or a little verse or quote or something would be fun for these. So these uh, bookmarks are half of the video number two. The next one is making envelopes. And so, um, there we go. We've got six bookmarks there. And, well, you can't really see them all, but there we go. We've got the two big ones and the two, so two three inch, two two inch, and two one inch. And that was all from two six inch pieces, six by six inch pieces of paper. So, um, that is the bookmark portion. Now I need to get some pieces cut and make some envelopes. Be right back. Okay guys, I have to hurry because I think my battery is blinking. Um, I'm going to make two sizes of envelopes. I'm starting with a 6x6 six six 
and an 8x8. Eight eight. On the 6x6 six six, you want to score at 2 and 5 eighths. So let's see if we can get this done before my camera clicks off. 2 and 5 eighths. Score. Score on that line. Or line it up with the guide is what I mean. Rotate. Line it up with the guide. Punch. Score. Line it up with the guide. Punch. Score. Okay. This ends up being a 3 by 4 well, uh, an envelope for a 3x4 card, and I've got another one here as well. There's two of those. And on the 8x8, eight eight, you I think I wrote my, yeah, we're going to score it at 3 and an eighth. You only measure the, <clears throat> excuse me, you only measure the first time, and you punch, and you score, rotate, line it up, right the guide with that score mark, punch, Score, rotate, line it up, punch, score, rotate, and sometimes it's harder to see, punch, score, and we're done. This uh, envelope size ends up being three and a half uh, something didn't go straight, but that's okay. When you fold it down, you can fix it. If sometimes it was probably that one where I scored it just a little too quickly, paper might have moved or something. But as you're pressing it down, you can fix that. So this is three and a half by six finished size. I've got another one here. These really turn out really pretty. Um, so I've got two sizes: three by four. Three and a half by six, and those were starting out with six by six and eight by eight. And I'm just going to keep those because I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, but I'm just going to put them in my little um, scrap on Saturday, and I'm just going to keep everything in here until. In fact, I might get an elastic to tie around it, uh, or I might even find someplace else to put them. Maybe a little box or something to keep them in until we start. Um, getting things in the book but the envelopes if you have scraps any size this envelope punch board I don't know why I never bought it I thought I don't need that I don't need it I don't need it but when I saw it for ten dollars at Tuesday morning and I thought well you know what it's ten dollars I'm gonna buy it we'll see how much I use it I use it all the time and I like to draw on it and it usually erases right off that way because sometimes this is so small but it looks like I used an ink pen or something there um, anyway yeah I use it quite a bit I also use it for just punching divots in my pockets uh, it does have a corner rounder in the back um, it does come with a score tool um, I'm not getting paid to say anything about envelope punch board um, but I do make good use of it so I am glad I, par I purchased it so anyway, that's it for now, guys. We've got our four envelopes. We've got all of our bookmarks. And we'll be back again with more Scrap and Saturday. Thanks for watching. Bye now.